So Daly, Cherry, Evans leads them out. A lukewarm reception from the home crowd at Campbelltown, one of two bases, of course. Leichhardt and Campbelltown, and there's Daly, Cherry, Evans, and that young fellow there, Jake Trebojevic. They've had a very ordinary 2018. A very ordinary past couple of weeks. They say John Cartwright is likely to be the coach in 2019 with Trent Barrett moving on. But certainly a disrupted preparation leading into this game. We nearly had the perfect storm, didn't we, Ray, with a, a coach coming here with the full support of the board up against a team that can mathematically still make the eighth. Very close. <laughs> very close. Here are the West Tigers coming out now. And that man there, Robbie Farah, in the number nine. Back probably where he belongs, at the West Tigers. Been a great servant in a long rugby league career. Well, he's played well enough since coming across to the Tigers. You think that he would be going around next season. This combination with Luke Brooks, Benji Marshall, Mo Zembai, and it's been seamless, the four of those together in the 1, 6, 7 and 9. So Benji will launch proceedings. We've seen some of his best football out here at Campbelltown over the years. <laughs> Away we go. He puts it high. Taken immediately by Dylan Walker, who brings it back. The race of the football, 20 metres out from his own line, centre field. Manassi Fanu, the acting half. The number 12, Shannon Lane, going to Parramatta next year. 31 metres out from their own line. Trevojevic. Joel Thompson, who turns 30 tomorrow. Nine metres short of halfway. Fanu. Trevojevic inside ball with a big front rower. Adam Fanua Blake, good run. Fifth tackle, good set. Fanu, Ali Cherry Evans, goes high. And by takes it, got it some nice cover from Kevin Agama. Big number four. Here at Leichhardt, where he absolutely carved them up. Straight from acting half, Farah. First break, supports on the outside. He'll come to the fullback. Tavorovic is playing numbers. Gets the ball away, and the tackle from behind was from George Tafua. Michael Chi Cam is brought down. Brooks, they go to the line out wide. It comes. He's almost over there. They hung off, and he's on the line. I think he may have gone close to getting it down. No, back at the field of play. Mahi Fanua. Fifth tackle. Embai kicks a cross field. They palm it back. Cheek cam, little kick, went straight to the manly player. The centre this time, Brian Kelly, nine out from his own line. Well, there's Robbie Farrow winding back the clock, but he slowed down. He really needed to, to go as quick as he could to Tom Draboyevich to get the ball to Cheek cam without the, the defending right players arriving on time. Tight hamstrings. Old man hamstrings, maybe. Oh, I guess, but a good effort to get into the clear. That was too easy. Just strolled through, Robbie. Joel Thompson from inside the 40. Cherry Evans looking for a 40-20, but it'll be cut off here by the winger, Kevin Nagama. Kick all the footballs up there to meet him and bring him down. Young Lane plays the ball back quickly. Benji. Luma through one, dragged down from behind. And no look pass. It's gone to ground to Luke Brooks. And they go on the counter attack here as Tom Trebojevic struggles through tackles before being brought down by Isan Masters. Zero tackle. Walker, dummies inside, goes out. Made the tackle with Brooks. There's a 
Suli went to acting half. Robbie, hold, Robbie, hold, mate. Go to. And away. The hooker almost through. Finu. Dummy half. Tavoyevich to the line. He's almost there. He's in. Daly Cherry Evans. They hung off and they hung off and they hung off. And he scores a try 4 0. Well, and what we've seen in the opening three and a half minutes here. Look like there might be plenty of points scored tonight. And it's Isan Masters who, who saw a poor pass in his own ends to give possession away. Luke Brooks couldn't take it. And it's just an ordinary attempt to tackle on Daly Cherry Evans there, one on one. So not a great couple of minutes there for the number three for the Tigers. Had a great season. And on the Harvey Norman replay, he just swivels out of that attempt to tackle and scores next to the post. That was way too easy. Well, they got their numbers wrong there in the Tigers. They only had five defenders on the long side. When normally at that area of the field, you can see where the referee is. Five defenders. Terrible defence. Brad Fitler. And Jake Trebojevic did a great job taking, um, taking the big back rower onto the line. And Benji Marshall just really submitted in the tackle on Sean Lane. Just came in and didn't really try to get out on DCE. And Ivan Cleary spoke before the game that defence was going to be the important thing tonight. And I don't know if his team got the motto, the memo. The memo. He loves the memo. Well, it's a team this year, Ray, the Tigers, who've, who've beaten Melbourne twice, the Roosters, the Dragons and South, on the back of their defence, but it wasn't, wasn't very good there. Cherry Evans converts his own try, 6-0 Manly. So after five and a half minutes, one senses that defence is not going to be a hallmark of this game at Campbelltown. Anyway, the ball was trapped and back to Fanua Blake. Just a reminder, the NRL All-Stars clashes back in 2019. The Australian Indigenous All-Stars take on the New Zealand Maori Kiwis. The Rufus time in the men's and women's doubleheader. Melbourne's Amy Park, that's Friday, February 15. Tickets available now from the NRL.com. Tickets. Back it is in February next year in Melbourne. So, Lane plays it, blindside, Finu, Walker, tackle books, number 16, Gusevsky, he came into the game with Martin the power going back to the bench as you heard from the gang pre-game. Now, Jerry Evans with a kick and he dissects the fullback and the winger. That was a great kick, low and hard. Right into the corner, and at the moment, it's all manly. Off the limit plays it, M by. Back it comes. Masters with it, living out from his own line. Down it, and with some numbers on the outside, Brooks. He's on the outside of the Brooks, he's down the touch line. He keeps going, he's got to throw it back on the inside. He got it back away. Mahi Fanua, a little bit of a goose step. Comes to Tom Kravojevic, who makes the tackle. Bulldogs him down, 22 out. Exciting stuff. Nagama, Benji. Emba. Straight over the top of Chi Cam. Goes on the far side, North Luma. Back again to Chi Cam from the standing start. He goes inside the 20. Put down. To the line, Benji Marshall. They've got an able up. Oh, that's been knocked down by Suli. It'll be a knock on against Manly. Scrum feed West Tigers. Well, if you like attacking footy and tries, you'll love this game tonight because you can see it's, it's going to be one of those games. It's going to be a lot of points scored. You get the feeling some of the great attacking footy tonight. Be some great tries scored. None of the players have packed their shoulder pads tonight. I don't know who Moses Embai was passing the ball to on the other side, but if Moses Suley doesn't come in and make 
that tackle there will stop the football being passed. It's a two-on-one overlap on the outside. Tigers try, but they still get the scrum feed. Robbie Farrar, Benji. Moses then by calls him on the inside. The ball comes back away to Masters. He's put down the big centre. Joel Thompson made a good tackle. Two can, straight and hard. Three defenders there, including Finu. Farrah, Marshall, ball short ball to Packer. He's well handled by the defence. Josefsky was there, and the number 16 with that bandaged head. And Lino's there, he stands there in the tackle. As Farrah came back behind him from dummy half. Farrah, shocking pass. Oh, beautifully picked up by Cheekham on the half volley. Then he threw it out the back. It'll come to Norfoluma. Norfoluma's going to spin it out to Farrah. Farrah's got support. He's calling Lawrence on the inside. He dummied to him. Sent the ball back to Nagama. And then the winger fell over and got up and came again. Brad Parker. Plays it back. Fifth tackle. Farrah, left foot kick. Targeting the goal line. They all go high. Knocked down. And it's a penalty. Now the ball. Tackle without the ball. Ted here, Tigers. The match akin and a penalty to Manly, relieving one a metre or two out from their own line. Ruan Sims is down, Sart. Ruan, good evening to you. Good evening, Ray. Well, it's definitely been played at a frenetic pace so far this first nine minutes, and out in the middle there, it's actually quite a dry track, surprisingly, out here. We're running at about 12 degrees with a very, very light easterly breeze here out at Campbelltown Stadium. Manly have had the run of it so far, and we'll see what they can come up Who's with this set of six. fine touch, Ruan. Thank, Thank you for that. 30 metres out from their own line. Brian Kelly will take that free kick after the penalty. So nine and a half gone, six more still. As Lane goes forward to Manly. He knew. Almost overran it there, Jake Kabojevic. Takes the tackle, release now, came the word. Isaac Puth was in the tackle. Camilla Blake put down. Finu, Trebojevic, Tom Trebojevic, goes at the line, Masters has got him. Norfoluma, he can't unload, David Norfoluma there, fifth tackle. He'll kick in behind them, that rebounded from Matalino, wasn't played at, so they'll play on, flick back away, still the fifth. Jerry Evans will work back, left foot kick, which is a good kick, but it's just going to spin over that dead ball line. Almost played at by the West Tigers, but then the hands were pulled away and they get the easy march back. Just a little bit too mustard on that one. Too much mustard. And now the ball comes to Kevin Nagama. This wrecking ball call for Fanua goes forward. Brad Fittler's downstairs. Yeah, just to comment on Luke Brooks. From the time he made that break and passed the ball back on the inside, he never touched the ball at the back end of that set. He fed the ball for the scrum, then it never touched the ball that whole set in shooting. I think the Tigers need to go to Brooks a little bit more. Eisenhuth plays it. Farrah from 40 out. Kicks back in field, Benji. Now Tom Kaborovic is going to let the ball go dead, but it's not going to go dead. And now he comes back almost into the field of play, but Madalino got there quickly. Goal line drop out, or a pinpoint accurate kick eventually. Yeah, great kick from Benji. Comes over the right, looks like he's going to kick to the corner. The last minute, he hooks it back towards the post. You see, he's looking like he's going to kick to the corner and then just hooks it back. And then have a look at his chasing, just in case. Look at Russell Packer. He's leading the chase, the big front rower. Everyone gives up on the play. But Packer comes through, along with Benji Marshall and the other front rower, then Martellina. That's one of the hardest kicks in the game, kicking from 30 or 40 metres out and getting it into the end goal. And that was inch perfect. Cherry Evans finds Luke Brooks with a flat kick and Madalino brings it back. Ben goes at them. Needs to be followed, Madalino. He can get an offload away. Jake Kabojevic was there. Zewski popped out the back by Packer to Farah. Chikam. He's breaking tackles, this Chikam. Vanua Blake got him. Benji from Farah. Brooks, Brooks out the back, it comes, out wide, and no, he's gone without a Nagama, then it was into touch, but I First think the ball's gone forward off Nagama, so it'll be a Tiger manly first. loose and feed. 
Really passive defence on the outside. The right side defence a couple of times. Just hanging back, Manly. You just can't slide on your own line here. Moses and if he finds a pass and gets the ball out in front, it's him backing off. Just can't back off on your own line. If the ball goes in front, the Guama goes in. Could have found it. Could have found anyway. He double pumps and hits Mahe Fenura. I think he scores. Just attention to detail. That ball has to be in front if you speed men out wide. But very passive defence on the outside by Manly. So Brad Parker, who tiptoed along the touchline after receiving that ball, brings it in the field. Now Trebojevic, a half break past one defender. Down by Benji. Barra. This time the centre. Brian Kelly's over the 30 for Manly. They do lead 6-0. Sean Lane working hard. Nine short of halfway. Medellina made the tackle with Lawrence. Little Blake into Brooks. Does well to stop him. Packer there as well. With Robbie Farah penalty. Oh, they didn't need that. Bit of a crusher. Last tackle. Mm. It's a cardinal sin to give one away. Big fellas had a, another good start for Newer Blake. One of six in the side who have played every game this year. You see, well, this Packer just getting in the head in an awkward position. You see that so often in the game. There's, there's no intention from the tackler, but it's a, it's a dangerous position for the ball carrier to be. So, Daly Cherry Evans will find touch 24 metres out from the West Tigers line. But he's taken no ill effect from that because that's him carting it forward. Adam Fenua Blake. Finu. Cherry Evans, Lane. Good defence by Matalino around the legs as he tried to offload. Finu. Trebojevic, Cherry Evans, beautiful pass on the inside to Tom, but he went without it. Well, he only just went without it. Not an intentional it. He came up with a miraculous catch it's there. Well, he's appealing that when he dropped it, he actually back heels at the ball. It's a trend in the game where the back rowers, he's right, the ball goes behind, he actually hits it off his heel. It's a trend in the game. Back rowers will fly out of the line. Chris Lawrence at that time flew out of the line to try to make right, Daly Cherry Evans in, Thanks, play Keep early. Your but they're very susceptible in, to inside passes. In. They'll continue on, with that one, Manly. Uh, they all broken before the ball had come clear, most notably the lock, Tom Trebojevic. Yeah, it's a ploy first used by Melbourne earlier in the season, and just about every club has jumped on the bandwagon now. They hold the football deliberately in the second row. The defending back line on the far side, they can't see. The ball's been held. There it is, stopped. So they race up. And they're inside the 10. So the captain, Chris Lawrence, gets it towards halfway. And Lino standing out wide off Benji. Joel Thompson was there. Cherry Evans. Now look past a pack where he wasn't quite ready. Russell did well to take it. 38 metres out from the Manly line. 6 0 to Manly. Brooks. Another one to Lawrence. He didn't look. Dylan Walker got him. They're making ground. Mahi Fanua. Farah drifts across field. Oh, Michael Cheekam just sort of palmed it across his body and it went backwards and it was taken by Isan Masters. That'll be the fifth tackle. Back and come to Brooks. And kick goes high. Coming down for Parker. Took it well. And then tried to get away from Mahe Fanu, but couldn't. Well, the Tigers have got to establish something in the middle, Ray. Right? They've got to start to try to play through Manly and, and earn the right to throw the football wide. At the moment, they're just throwing it really nilly whenever they have possession. To power into the action for Fanua Blake as Brooks to four comes in off his wing to help out. That Moses Suley's a big bloke. Just watching here on this right hand side of the field. We've got legs like tree trucks. They dash out of acting half. Brian Kelly. He's quick, Kelly. And here's a 40 20 attempt again. It just doesn't get the angle, Cherry Evans. 
Inboy's going to fulfill this in goal and bring it back. It's a great kick, just the same. And he's well taken. Gusevsky and the winger, Parker. Not for Luma. Let me have a look at... We've got Packer, Manolino, Cheekam, Eisenhoof, all coming back on side. So Masters are flung to the ground by Joel Thompson. Nice pop pass there. Brooks has gone through a gap. He had that stripped out. And they're going to play the knock on as Mahe Fanua. No, Robbie. Up, no, Robbie. It was a nice offload. I think it was cheek cam, wasn't it? Mm. Tracking a couple of defenders, threw the ball at the back. And this is when Brooks did his best. Ball in two hands and then just accelerates between two defenders. Dylan Walker there plays at the ball, but it's a loose carry. Correct decision by the referee. I have to say, all the energy is with Manly. They'll pack the scrum just on halfway straight after the game. The footy show. Tonight, Erin sits down with the Bulldogs, Rising Star and Nephew to the King, Lachlan Lewis. Jeez, a good player. And 300 gamer Chris Hyington joins the panel live. The footy show straight after the game. First ever field goal last week. 34 metres out in the, in the wind. Mm. You know what I love? The press conference. Just a totally unassuming, unaffected young man having a laugh about the physio saying when he was practicing through the week, you'll never kick a field goal. And he kicks a field goal to win the game. It seems like a delightful young fella who loves playing footy. And it shows. He did a game at ANZ earlier this year when he just seemed to be able to take control. Might have been against Brisbane, actually, when they won that game unexpectedly. Now it goes up to Cherry Evans. He broke away from the defence. Back through the centre now. The pass on the outside to Powell's just on. To Powell will stand there, get it back away. Cherry Evans stands there, got away from... The tackle of Mahan Fanu, and now he goes back in centre field and he's collared by the defence and put down. Fanu, what a beautiful ball. Oh, he's gone without it, the big centre. He's knocked it on. Macy Suley. And the key there, Dylan Walker got the ball and went to the line with speed, which made the defence nervous and opened up the room on the outside. So he goes to the line, ball in two hands at speed. And just makes the centre, Mahe Fanua, come out of the line. Moses Suli should have caught that. should have been a try. But the difference is, that time, 5 5'8 Dylan Walker went at the line with speed, which made an outside defender nervous. So I'm watching the Tigers go through their set plays, and they're dawdling. You have to do it at speed to make one of the defenders get nervous and bite in or slide. At the moment, there's no speed in which they're doing their set plays. Kevin Nagama from that scrum. Benji interacting half. Well, to me, the Tigers haven't built a platform yet. They're a quarter of the way into this game, and it's just throwing the football around. Without establishing something, as Packer takes it forward. Three men in the tackle to handle him. Pass from Eisenhuth. Lino. Jake Trebojevic involved in the tackle with Tapao. Fifth tackle kick by Benji, harassed by the hooker, Manassi Fanu. And now back to Tom Trebojevic, who brings it back. So we've gone past the halfway mark in this first half. And it's still 6 0 to Manly. Oh, penalty. Come to the mark, Shorty, please. Come to the mark. Thanks, mate. Yeah, Kalepi Tengano is coming on the field. And Sean Lane, I think, has come off. Yep, that's how it's worked out. So the number 15, Kalepi Tengano on for Manly. Push up for me, Roy. They're giving Manly. Far from running another one in. Tom Trevojevic into a. The line, what Joel Thompson. 
go again down the short side. Unload now. They've got it. She can made that. From Jake the Tom. Oh, nice hands, Walker. He's going to put it back on the inside of the big leg. Steps nicely. He's put down sorely. World's biggest acting half to Powell. Jerry Evans. Tanganawa. He spills the ball and it goes into the shoulder of one of the Tigers' players. His second carry since coming on as a replacement for Sean Lane and coughs it up. And here it is on replay. You'll see, there it is there. It's just a loose carry and it's on the cheek, onto Eisenhuth's shoulder, I should say. There it is there. Correct call. And I saw Trent Barrett a little while ago turn his back and walk to the back of the coach's box. I think he might be facing the other way permanently. Well, we've seen a couple of finals type matches of late. This hasn't started out as one. There's a lot of errors. Ouch. Brooks got a back from Norfoluma there, who made a half break, and the cavalry is coming, the 14 to the 15. Twal and Sa say Sue's on the field now. Madeline and Pack are the two men that get a breather. We've got 16 to go in this first time. Nissan Masters, but well, no, it's not as cheek cam, I should say. Salasa Sue, he's off for the Bulldogs next year. A good signing, I think he's a really good player, underrated front row. Oh! <laughs> Alex 12. Well, he got a penalty anyway. Salasa Sue, for a big man, gets to top speed pretty quick over the advantage line. It's as tough as they come. What are they doing here for Tigers? Kicking for sideline. I don't understand this because they're in the middle of the field. They kick to the sideline, then take two tackles to get back to the middle of the field. The replacement, Alex oh, no. <laughs> For one. Farrah, Brooks, dummies inside, goes out. Oh, and by Jabalut, and he's picked up and thrown to the ground by Suli. Moses Suli, Brooks to acting half, first receiver. Oh, no. Robbie's knocked it on his cold as a spud. I'll take the strong shot. At least he's, he's in a comfortable... He's disgusted the coach. He's in a comfortable chair, at least. And it's a big half-time, I think, for the Tigers. Ivan Cleary. They just haven't shown up tonight. There's been no intensity in anything they've done, the Tigers. It looks very frustrated there, the coach. Might have been the worst yeah. thing that could have happened to them, Robbie Farrer making that bus yep. so early in the game. Mm. Ruan Sims is downstairs again, Ruan. Yeah, well, the Tigers now find themselves in a defensive position, and after 22 minutes, they had missed 17 tackles. And this is a team that had been... Their defence had been wonderful for them all year, and they'd really built their game around that, so they'll be definitely wanting to fix that up in the next 15 minutes. So, to power, thank you. Brings it over to 30, Martin to power. the tackler. Thompson. Up over the 40. Sumaso Su made the tackle. Boyevich. And eventually the tackle affected by my Hafenua. Jeez, that did a penalty away. And the fifth tackle, too. That's just. Would that be the third time Peter got in the fifth tackle? Maybe. Poor discipline. That's at least the second. Mm. Well, they've invited Manly on a number of occasions to get good field position, and Manly haven't capitalised. They do lead by 6-0. There's 13 to go, but... Push up, Moses. they're playing for place in the eight West Tigers. I mean, they can't dictate what happens to Brisbane and New Zealand, but if they win, they're still there. Tenganoa. Now, 
defence is there. So Asso Sue. With Alex Twile getting there and then to Moravic. Jerry Evans, Dylan Walker beat them. Now he'll come back on the inside. He he sort of gave himself up there as Suli had run back on the inside and he was worried about an instruction ruling, so he just surrendered to the tackle. Kajewski got it away. Trebojevic got it back on the inside, Jake. Finu. Walker. He ran straight at them that time. A base over eight pack by Chris Lawrence. He rattled him up too. He gets up gingerly. Finu, little deft kick in behind and they're getting through. Oh, that might be knocked off go perhaps go by Joel Thompson, but he got a hand to it. Yeah, but it, it shows the desperation it, between the two sides here. Joel Thompson, he was probably in the worst position out of all the chasers, yet I think he gets there first. Yeah, he, he knocks on. It's no try. Now they're going to 20-meter restart. Joel Thompson gets through, knocks the ball. Yeah, yeah, so it's his birthday tomorrow. Yeah, 30, 30 tomorrow. Be 30. Oh, to be 30 again. And he showed a lot more desire there than the West Tigers players mm. did in getting back to it. What are you winning? Where old are you? Hit the 63, now you're travelling. Yeah, Don't was you start. You're not no, far behind can, me. Look at me. We can get large. Funny thing, I don't feel 63. 12 goes forward. Held in the tackle a metre or two short of halfway. This week has aged me a bit. Well, here they go. Tigers. Quick restart. Let's see if they can break open this manly defence. Mahe Fanua took the free kick and goes... Rampaging up the centre. Benji from Farrah. Well, he dies and hoots with it now. Let's Ten metres out. Let's see if they can get him by involved in this six set. He's over with Peter, but they might need him straight to the line. Almost there. Can they get it down? No. So Arso Sue has just held up the stride of the line and the defence got there in numbers just in time. A yeah, tremendous tackle by Tom Trebrojevic. They go same way, Brooks out the back. Uh, Fanu is going to unload it out the back and they're going to score. Kevin Nagano goes in, 6-4. They'll point to the spot surely and they do. Yeah, great work there from Mahe Fanu. He, he gets Brad Parker involved in the tackle to create an outside avenue for the try scorer. You come in, you've got to stop the football, and Fanu has been a wonderful pickup from a couple of seasons at Hull FC in the English Super League. In the Harvey Norman replay, you see Soasso Sue gets through that front line, and Tom Trebojevic, he actually goes to have a second attempt to get the ball down, but Trebojevic and co are able to deny him. And then Fanu gets his arms free over the top of the two defenders. Parker comes in, but they both go low, lower than the football. And an easy one for Kevin Naguama. They showed some great shape formation on the outside. And they got him one-on-one. -on -one. Goes at Moses Suli. He's under the ball. And just offloads over the top. Mahe Fanu. But his body's in motion. Players buzzing around. The ball player around the decoys that got Mahe Fanu one-on-one. -on -one. He's opposite Moses Suli. And that's what caused the try. Yeah, he didn't get the football Moses M by, but he played a role. He played a part in it. That might be the prod they require, the West Tigers. Eastern Masters is taking the kick from this Western touch line. That was Kevin Naguama's 50th try. And Cherry Evans scored his 50th try for the opening try. So, you see, I've been doing my homework. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you next to me now. One of the two. Here's the oh, kick. Oh, it's yeah. there. Six all.
So from the restart, six all the score. That kick from Masters just stuck in. That up there. And his 12 served up. Jake out. Oh, so Arso Sue. Over the 20. One hand to pick up Robbie Farrah. Benji. Back on the inside. Good defence when he finally met to power. Masters. On the third end. Hasn't hit put down. His second carry this set. So Arso Sue's put down. Fifth tackle. Back to Brooks from about 48 out. That's a towering kick now for the winger, Brad Parker. Took it well and runs into Embi. Yeah, just after the try there, Benji Marshall was getting treated by the, the trainer. Getting his ribs strapped. Just watching him that set, struggling to, to stretch out. Get uh, Dr. Fittler on the sideline to find out how he is. He'll dive it very quickly. George Tafua now, outside the 30. Here's the kick from Cherry Evans. Now, Empire was standing up and it's going to bounce up on its point. And Tom Dravojevic is getting through, takes it on the toe, then fell over. They're coming from everywhere. But so is Nagama, and he takes it over the dead ball line. Well, that was third tackle, right? It was an early kick, and it's something that the Manly side have done on a few occasions in this opening half hour. And Moses Empire got a terrible bounce. He's up shallow because he's not expecting the long kick early in the count. Then it comes back at right angles, and Trevoy, that would have been play on because it came off Tommy's legs. And Kevin Aguama, a great effort yes. from this left wing to get back on the far side of the field to save the day. It's a shocking thing, footballs, they can do anything. Time you run! They just bounced at right angles, back onto the feet of Tom Trevojevic. Brad Fittler. Speaking to the medical staff of the Tigers, he had a guard already protecting, I think it's a rib cartilage problem, and that just fell down, so they had to retape it. He also has a calf problem at the moment, so hopefully he'll get over them and play a big part in the Tigers getting a result tonight. An exhausting examination by intern Fittler. As to power breaks two tackles and it's going to offload anyway. Got the ball back away. Finu goes forward, the acting half. He'll stand in the tackle and offload back to Cherry Evans. They're keeping the ball alive. Cherry Evans pushes away. Chased now by Brooks and held in the tackle. Eisenhuth there as well. But they're inside the 20. Big play by Tapao. Walker inside ball. Suli. Walker to acting half. Finu. Trevojevic. Twelve from behind was there with two other defenders, including Eisenhuth and Sue. Jerry Evans, they got numbers out wide, lobbed over the top from Tom Trevojevic, but it's forward to George Tafua. There was a bit of referee for the West Tigers, they were all gesticulating forward, sir, forward, and he agreed. Yeah, it did appear to lead the hands. Right here, guys. Forward. Tigers ball. An opportunity lost, and, and all of this comes on Cherry, yeah, Cherry Evans being prepared to kick early. And after you've conceded points, it's not easy to kick the football back. But he did on the third tackle. They got a result. They got an extra set. And unfortunately, a bemused Tom Trevojevic just didn't deliver the pass. Just a reminder, VB Friday Night Football, Cowboys Eels from 1300 Smile Stadium, Townsville, of course. Um, and that'll be the farewell appearance for JT. Then we've got Macca Saturday Night Football, Roosters Broncos, Allianz Stadium, live from 7 o'clock. And Sunday Football Dragons, Bulldogs from Jubilee Oval, Cogra. Cogra's Jubilee Oval, live from 3.30. That's straight after the netball grand final, by the way. You would think, Ray, that despite where they sit on the ladder, it would have to be a crowd record, surely, 1300 tomorrow night. Unbelievable. Everyone in town for one of these. Everyone in North Queensland. Brooks is put down. What a magnificent servant he's been. What a great player. Sue. So Arso Sue's put down. Fifth tackle. Benji's going to bring some rain. They need it out here. High kick. Trubovic has got it covered nicely. Then Brooks fell over. And Mahe Fanua dropped off. And three of the defenders converged. 12. And one. And 
the captain Lawrence. Big tackle, Suasa Su. Big contact. Kosevsky. Hey, making a run. George Kafua. We're only three out from half time. Six all. It's all locked up. To Powell. Sue was there with Eisenhuth. And Eisenhuth. Here's a little stab kick over the top from the half back. Now, Morphaloom is going to go back for it and take it. And there's a good chase by Joel Thompson. And so too from Brian Kelly. Big centre, Hassan Masters almost through. Jake Trebojevic got him. Mahe Fanua, that's a good run. And from the left centre, now Robbie Farah is going to kick the ball downfield. Not really an attempt at 40-20, just for field position, but it's gone on the second bounce to Tom Trebojevic. He'll bring it back, and he's taken by Alex Twal. Inside two minutes remaining, first half six all to Fua. Lost the ball here, George. Mm. They can do something here with about 1.45 to go, the West Tigers. Time's off. Tigers can stand if you wish. Jack, is it? Stay in your positions. Let's see what happened here on the replay. Yeah. Robbie might have had a little bit of help there. But it was a loose carry. So here they are, West Tigers. <laughs> uh, there they were, the West Tigers, as Manassi Fanu comes up off a mistake. So maybe Manly in the last minute and a bit can do something. How would you be a first grade catch? Jerry Evans to Powell. Put down. Sue the tackler. Fanu. The ball is to Thompson. He popped the ball back away to the centre Kelly. Brian Kelly slipped in the tackle. Chikam was there. Trebojevic to power. 51 seconds to go to half time. Still time. Finu, Jerry Evans, Walker. Nice ball away up to Suri, but he's well tackled by the centre. Mahe Fanua took the steam off him. Walker, fifth tackle goes. He's going to pop it out the back. Half volley now by Parker. Parker's going to be tackled. They might just kick a field goal here if they get a chance. Six to go. Oh, no. Field goal. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, six to go. Yeah. It was a late call. Oh, they got a penalty right in front of the base, so they'll take the two. two. Instead. It was a late call. I thought the pocket referee was going to indicate six to go because it was the fifth tackle, and then all of a sudden they both oh, stood to look at each other, and then Matthew King started waving his arm in the air, and then... Almost like a synchronised swimmer, Alan Shortall is doing the same thing. So they take the shot from in front. There's the siren, and almost assuredly it'll be 8-6 here. Manley's way at the break as Daly Cherry Evans lines up this gift two points from directly in front of the post. There it is at 8-6 it is. We'll have a look at and the referee signal half time. So Manly, someone's just put the score up on the scoreboard as 10 points to six. So no, it's eight points to six, but now they change it. So there you go. Eight six. So back they come for the second half. We've had a discussion here. We've decided this game will reach great heights in the second half. Uh, well, I, I don't know if we determined that Ray but what we have it'll be better I believe that we will see plenty of points in this second half a little bit like the the Cronulla North Queensland game last week which I think was six all at half time uh, I think we'll see a, a much bigger score line than, than eight six yep. and, behind, and up well into double figures so this time it's Manly through Manassi Fanu kicking off and first use of the football comes back the other way 
the West Tigers trailing by that two-point margin through Alex Torrey. Sue with it now, and three very vigorous defenders, Thompson, Kelly, and again Kelly's there with Tapao and Finu, who was rushing away and then went back to be second marker. Sue's going to pop this around the corner. M by with it. Oh, he ran straight into the tackle of Joel Thompson. Back the other way. To powers around the legs. Two other defenders there. Tinganawa. Fifth tackle. Brooks harassed. Kosevsky was there, but he got the kick in. And Tom Trebovich has got it. He's got Brad Parker with him, but then he goes himself and leaves Parker behind him to probably bring it forward now. Now they go the other way to George Tafua. So it is 8-6 in the early stages of this second half. Did Benji have that left leg strapped in the first half? I don't think he did, did he? No, he did not. I saw him come off talking to Ruan, actually. So he said he had some niggling problems, and that's obviously another one of them. Thompson tackled by three of the West Tigers. Line side, Tom Travoyevich. Taken. He's hit him around the throat there, Ben. Saw the referee. Um, Tom Trebrovich looked at the referee. Wasn't happy. Finu, last tackle, kick. Cherry Evans. Oh, he had plenty of time and then he seemed to step back and then step into it, but he took it well. Benji. That's why the walkers out there. Oh, Pachikham just getting some attention from the trainer. Quick tap taken by Luke Brooks. Man, they react to it. And there's a second consecutive penalty. Well, that's a bit pedantic. I mean, he didn't take it on the mark the first time. Why would he send him back the second time? Hammer's up, mate. Anyway, they've got the penalty, and they'll go down the touch line, and Benji's about it. Two metres, make it three metres in front of him. <laughs> Gets a QE from over the other side and moves back. So they're on the 40 now. Consecutive penalties give them a good platform. Mahi Fanua. 12 goes forward off Lawrence. Benji. Sue with it into Thompson. And Jake Trebojevic. Farah. Benji again. Twile again, but he's taken by three defenders. Kosevsky was one of them. Now Benji steps and goes straight through. The pass back away, and Eisenhuth is brought down. Good tackle on the line. Finu the tackler out the back. Brooks. Oh, no. Embai had a look. He saw Brian Kelly coming. He put it down as cold as a spot. That's a great read from Brian Kelly because they were in trouble. And he came flying in and forced the error. Marshall, he hasn't, he hasn't run much tonight, but the big step there, and he found his back rower inside. But then, yeah, Moses Mbai, they had an overlap on the outside. Kelly knew that they were in trouble and got up nice and quick. Well, it was a feature of the first half, and... Oh, I don't know. Manly got that sort of field position and blew it, and this time it's the West Tigers on the back of it. He might do it in reverse, Ray, right? Ivan Cleary. Sometimes they start in the box and work their way down to the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> he, might, he might head up in a little while. They keep going, he might be in the car park behind us. As Jake Trevorovic goes forward. Surely. Did a good job to sort of take the steam off him then. Go the same way. Walker. Oh, big tackle. Mahi Fanua. On Jack Gusevsky. Tanganoa. Fifth tackle. 40 metres out from the West Tigers line. Manly leading 8 6. Dylan Walker will go to the end this time with Sue harassing him. Good take in the end by Moses M. By him. Kerry Evans is there with Tom Trevojevic to effect the tackle. The 
pinned down inside their own tennis. Ball, Joel Thompson made a good tackle. The ball juggled there by Norfoluma. Sun Masters held 32 out, fourth tackle. Quick play the ball. Farrah's got them going backwards, got the pass away. Kevin Aguama, he's over halfway. That's the fifth. Little kick between the fullback and the winger. Red Parker went back for it and then takes the tackle. Michael Chican got there to fill it. Norfoluma got there as well. Usain Masters completes the tackle. Brian Kelly. Six into the second half. Still 8-6 to Manly. He's been tremendous tonight, Joel Thompson. Good quick play the ball and help his first receiver in Jake Trebojevic. Pick up 10 metres, last tackle now. Tracy's good. Field. Taken by Ben by and very quickly. He's a very, very decent man, Joel Thompson. Stories I've been told about what he does in the community. A very decent man. Playing like a 29 year old tonight, man. Great fitness downstairs. Yeah, conditions just got a little bit tricky. There's a bit of dew. Has appeared just after half time, so I'll have to watch their ball handling. North Aluma stepping through tackles, and he's straight through. He'll merely go all the way. Trebovich comes across, he falls over Love on it. that slippery ground, Brad. There's the Jew. You picked it. <laughs> over the top, Brooks, they'll come back to the centre. In by, he'll take the tackle of Joel Thompson. Fifth tackle, little kick in behind them, and that's a try. The skipper gets there. Chris Lawrence scores. They'll point to the spot, surely. Good. And they do. West Tigers hit the lead. Well, some terrible, de terrible defence to give field position to the West Tigers. <laughs> and it was just after I gave Joel Thompson a wrap, but he and Cherry Evans, well, they just grab. Him. Oh, but David that's... Nofaluma, he loses his footing. And then Robbie Farr at the end, he just sums it up beautifully. In the Harvey Norman replay, goes across, throws the dummy, that brings the defence up. And again, the reaction time of the chaser, it's much better than the defenders. And Chris Lawrence grabs another one. Just reflecting on Norfoluma, um, Tom Travoyevich had him covered anyway. It looked like he was going to try and run on the outside, but then he suddenly decided he'd go back on the inside. That's when he slipped over on that slippery ground. And from in front, it's a successful conversion, and all of a sudden the West Tigers in front. So the restart from Manly, just looking uh, at the replay before we went to that break, and it's a classy player, Robbie Farrer. It was a really, really, really good kick. A great chase by Chris Lawrence, but by gee, it was a good kick. Well, he just kept going across and across, and, and that brought the defence up. Which makes it harder to turn around and cover it. Uh-oh, Twiles into the clear. Alex Twiles, they chase him. He comes back on the inside. He pushes away. He's going to go all the way. He's still going. He got the pass away to Moses then by scored from the kickoff. Here come the West Tigers. I told you it was going to get better, Pete. Alex Twar. He's been with a sprint coach. Once again, Manly, really soft defence. It was a simple offload out the back. We'll go forward here. Palm off the, the young hooker. I mean, gets in the clear heavily with his right foot step from Twar. Goes past Tommy and then fends the young hooker off again. 
Turbo Tumby comes from behind and Maz Zembai under the post. Chicken legs checking right on the spot. Brad Fitler. I'm not sure if you remember the game Parramatta played St George and Tim Manor came out with a big right foot. Alex Twile was also in the Lebanese team. We were doing, we were practicing a lot of right footsteps yeah. in the Lebanon camp. Absolutely brilliant, Alex. Uh, right took... description and then Mbai supports like a good fullback. Only took 25 rounds for it to come out, Freddie. <laughs> 24, sorry. We're all right footed at Lebanon. Let me tell you something, Freddie. When Manor was cross-examined about that claim, he looked into the sky and said, Freddie's cooker. Yes. I, I don't mind you telling me the game's going to get better, but you don't have to punch me in the, in the ribs. <laughs> I was excited. When it does. Masters from in front. Converts. The Tigers well clear, 18 points to eight. So back to the centre of the halfway. This time it'll be Daly Cherry Evans. How long are we in? I think they're kicking the other side here. There's been an adjustment with the Manly's defence. What are we, 10 minutes into the second half? What happens here, Sterler? 18 8. Well, they haven't come out. Manly, it's, it's a carbon copy of what we saw last week in the second half. I wonder what's in the Gatorade for Manly. Move now! Well, with a big right foot step again. Drilled in room by Brad Fittler. And Hodkinson out there now for the Eagles. Do the Tigers go right on with it? Well, I, yeah, I do. I think so. I, in the back of points, you always have energy, and they, they've got that. All of a sudden, it's a 10-point lead. They've lost the ball back. They get a penalty. Momentum continues. Quick tap taken. Call back. 10 metres, mate. 10 metres. Oh, it's it's a 10-metre penalty. That's why it's called it back. You've got, you got to try out of the last one, Robbie. <laughs> Robbie's blowing up. You've got to try out the last one, he says. Um, well, I know that it's not in their hands. It's up to Brisbane, New Zealand. But if they win by a good space, and they are 10 up. In. Oh. Out. Falcon. Out. Push it up. Free kick. Self-imposed, I think. Free kick. Come back, come it's back, a free come kick back. Go, Chad, free kick. Go, Chad, free kick. He must have been in the field of play when he left. Lawrence looking for his second. Tengenawa. Here's the replay. Yeah, his foot was on the line. Now. Good decision by the touch judge. Benji, Sue. They'll score again here, surely. Sloppy play the ball. Farah, Benji. Out the back. Brooks out wide. Quick hands away. And in they go. Another great try. This time the Kevin Aguama. Yes, mate. Yeah, nice play here. Benji Marshall will get the ball as they celebrate the try, the Tigers. Kevin Naguama, 51st try of his career. Benji Marshall will go to the line, but he plays a little bit early, which gives Brooks a little bit of time, and Brooks will catch the ball straight and doesn't go right into the line, which give, gives Moses Zembai time to catch and pass on the outside. That's the key. The halves didn't dig right into the line. Gave their outside men some space. You like that one, Ruan? I certainly did, and I tell you what, whatever Ivan Cleary said to them at halftime, bottle it. Bottle it and keep it for next year because they have come out with some sparkling form. Beautiful big inside line running there by Eisenhuth and Chris Lawrence. Got the inside defenders interested, and Kevin Nongama, that's his second for the night. Well, Manly have stayed in the sheds. They just haven't come back out. And as Joey pointed out, the halves were great there, and they and they played straight. They took a cut, two or three steps each and straightened the attack, and that that has an effect on the defence. Like they don't slide, they they stop there, and if there is going to be some space, it'll be created out wide. And it was a select pass from Moses Embai, I think, who catches. Just watch, watch here. Marshall catches and he goes straight. And even in the loop from Luke Brooks, his first instinct is to play straight as well, and that keeps the defence there. And a lovely ball from. Moses Zembo under the chest of Kevin Naguama. Three tries in as many minutes almost. 22-8 from the touchline. Masters to make it 
And they got the post. Hits it. No goal. 22 8 West Tigers lead the way. Twinged something in scoring that try, and he's been worked on while we're waiting for the kickoff from Cherry Evans. Benji's there, and the replacement, Alex Twal, comes back and put down. That was a lovely pass from Moses Mbai. He's one of two players out there for the Tigers who made great transitions. He's, he's gone from the halves to fullback, and has looked wonderful from his first game there. And Chris Lawrence has gone from the back row of the back line into the back row and he's got a new lease on life in his career as well. So, so now that this year he's gone into the back row. He might have played there last year as well. I remember him scoring against Brisbane. A 17 year old schoolboy in his first try in the NRL. Fifth tackle Brook from halfway. Coming in for a bad parker, took it well. Pull up from his own line. And a half break. Two defenders in his wake. Tyson Hooth was one and Twal was the other. Time for Boyevich. They've got some points in them too, man, if they hang on to the ball. With this big Blake Sully, look at him rampaging through the middle. And that's a difference. They're a different team when they have the ball, man. They come to life, some of their players. You've got to realise there's two parts of the game. There's also defence. The Neil Blake's back out there. That was him running, and this will be Walker playing it. Hodkinson, inside ball to Vojevic. Pushed away, kicks back towards the touchline and finds it. So it's a nice tackle, kick into touch. It'll be a scrum feed coming back here. Ten out from their own line to the West Tigers. You mentioned Trent Hodkinson out there. Well, he's gone on for the young hooker, Finau who, after he missed those two tackles in the one movement, wasn't on there for much longer, and Hodkinson is now operating out of dummy half. Yeah, the hook came out very quickly from that young man. Just a reminder, Stan's Better Call Saul is back for a brand new season. It's the smash hit prequel to Breaking Bad, and new episodes are streaming right now, only on Stan. Alloy A is coming out, and the Packers coming out. So Alloy A is first time on the field. The young hooker Finnau would have ice on a toe. So he's not trying. Packer just out there. Barrett, Clara. Oh, come off and I think. Check in a moment as he comes back down the touchline. There's a kick to Tom Trebojevic. Took it nicely on the touchline and then takes the tackle. Good defence there, Brooks. It was a great tackle from Brooks, wasn't it? Mm. Chopped him in half. Tafua. <laughs> well, can they find the motivation, these manly players? Not playing final, second last game of the season. They've just conceded three tries in a row on the back of a capitulation last week. They need to dig deep here. It'll be really professional in how they play this last 20 minutes. Kosefsky was charging onto the ball from Cherry Evans and got the pass back away. And now on the fifth tackle, Sean Lane plays it. Hodkinson. Cherry Evans kicks across field. It's too big. Oh, they palm it back on the inside nicely. It's there. Had to be dived on. And it comes back with, yes, yeah, six to go. He's got it again. Joel Thompson. He's saying it was touched there by 
masters the centre before Thompson got it. Fanua Blake was minding his own business when he got the ball put down. So here they are with six more tackles. Jerry Evans Lane. Packers there. Back the other way. Jake Trevojevic, Jerry Evans, Joel Thompson. Alex Quayle around the legs. She came over the top. They go the other way. Walker turns it back on the inside now. Kaczewski, he bounced away from one. Goes again. Jack trying to unload. Kaczewski's put down on the tackle now. Nine out from the line. Hodkinson acting half. Jerry Evans. Oh, short ball for Newell Blake. And the referees hit the deck and for Newell Blake scores. Forward pass. Forward pass. Uh, Alan Shorthall with base over Apex on the goal line, but he's taken no ill effect. He gets straight up. And the pass to Fanua Blake has been deemed forward by Matt Chikin. Here's Mr. Shorthall getting back. And Moses M by <laughs> ricocheted off him and then got steamrolled by Fanua Blake, but it was from a forward pass anyway. Yeah, mile forward, that one from Jake Trebojevic. Two missed tackles against Moses on the stat sheet. Tough but fair. Almost a shoulder charge. <laughs> if we did get his arms around him. Anyway, he's okay, Alan Chortle. He bounced straight to his feet. Just an accidental collision. Jake Kravoyevich was there. He's been making all the ground here tonight. Yeah, he's done all right. I was trying that long run, 202. And um, Jake Trevojevic, the other forward, doing a lot of work along with the outside backs. Can. He can play. Got the ball back away to Farrah. Flick pass. Nice offload. Fifth tackle. Ooh. Now they're going to come blindside. Benji's going to go to the air. He's gone up beyond the grandstand. Now it comes down. And oh, well taken there by Parker. Uh, by Kelly, I should say. That was a sneaky catch, that one. And gets inside the penalty. Well, it looked like Tom's ball. And then all of a sudden, he sort of stuck in behind him and got the ball nicely. Who's this sitting on the ground and caught the ball? Ryan Kelly. Going to get an attacking set here, Manly. Says Ryan Kelly. Line, Ryan. Oh, yeah, here he on is. the ground. It's yeah. a deep squat. And you'll hear the applause. That's for Robbie Farrar. He's been interchanged. Jacob Little in jersey 18. Cherry Evans here. He has to bring Tom Trebrovich into play. Got a new dummy half from Trent Hodkinson. He's not a runner of the ball. So it's all up to Cherry Evans to try to bring their strike through back in the play. Sean Lane with it. An inside pass from Cherry Evans. Trent Hodkins into acting half. Cherry Evans first receiver. Inside the 40. Walker. Oh, Trebojevic. Nice pick up there by Tafui. Down the touch line, but good, good cover. And he's into touch. Held, held, held. It'll be a penalty. You could hear them saying, hell, hell, hell. It's not on the, the deck, ground. mate. You're bragging. It's just in here. And Masters made that last charge against him. A great opportunity here for Manly. They take the tap. Kelly, he's looked sharp tonight. Only in the final 20 minutes of this game. They must be the next to score. And they won't get too many better opportunities than this one. 18 to go. Lane. Rangy young fella. Put down two metres out. Hodkinson, short ball away to Thompson from Cherry Evans, but the defence converges. He's still going, Joel. He's put down just short of the goal line. Hodkinson, Cherry Evans, Walker, inside ball. Popped it out the back as he fell to Walker. Gusevsky, Cherry Evans now. Straight through, they dropped off him, he's still going, he's going to get there, no! Millimetres short of the line, he stopped. Chikam got him, I think. Now back the other way, over the top it'll go. Kafua, he's got plenty in front of him and they all... Oh, was that Patton? He smashed him. Fifth tackle. 
Hodkinson kicks over the top. Oh, oh my, for Nua! Flying mullet. Up. What about that? Take it out. Yeah, got some interference. I think Luke Brooks has been pointed at. Now, Alex Twal has been replaced by Madalino. But what about, I mean, even the laying for the penalty was spectacular stuff by the flying mullet, as Andrew described him. He still didn't get up that high, but it was effective. <laughs> <laughs> he got up. High he got up enough. as high as he could. Exactly. That's all you can do. Exactly. And you're a trampoline. They go from acting half. He's there. That's a try. <laughs> Simple stuff by Trent Hodkinson. He dashed his step. And they're back in the game. Yeah, feigned to go left. Went back to the right side. But, but threw in a left foot sidestep in doing so. He just got everybody napping. Shaped this way in the Harvey Norman replay. Looked to go straight. And he just bamboozled. Well, if it's one marker. Little. If there's one marker like Madalino was there, your job is to take care of the dummy half. You can't be looking elsewhere. Poor marker play. Ruan? Not just that, uh, Joey. Also, we have a look at the A defender was so wide. And when you're on your defensive line, you've got to defend in tight, push up together, take care of the ball first in that space before you start shifting out. Great work there by Hodkinson to actually to pick it and to run. As we spoke about, he's not noted for his running. So I think that was a really good pick up by him. He's going to try and convert his own try here, Ruan. Thank you for that. I think he will. <laughs> I think you're right. 22 <laughs> Did someone pick the rug up off the ground? <laughs> Settle up. Still on. Time you run. Stay behind. So the kickoff from Benji. He's gone to Walker to Lane. And all of a sudden, man, we are to be commended. Back in the game at 22-14 with 15 to go. They've had a dreadful year, a dreadful last week or two with all the drama surrounding the coach and who might be there next year. Not a lot to play for. It's, it's about pride now, right? Pride in your own performance and pride in the jersey that you wear. Joel Thompson leaves the field. Martin Tower back into the game for the Seagulls. Jake Trebojevic, first receiver, goes right to the line, finds Cherry Evans. He goes through them, Kelly. But he's driven back by Masters. Which he can there as well. Fifth tackle. Cherry Evans goes. He'll run it last tackle. It to Pau. To Pau's got the ball back away to Fua. To Fua's going to have to give it some air. It's come back away. Tom Draboyevich. He took it. He got the ball back away. Intercepted by Jacob Little. Some exciting stuff there, keeping the football alive on the last tackle. And now Manly defensively rushing up into the face of the West Tigers attackers. Hey, just... He looked like he might just get through himself there, Tom Trebojevic. It's really an unusual pass, but it was, it was an effective one if it finds the right man. You're reacting to Marcus Lawrence. So, on the fifth tackle, back to Benji. He kicks downfield and attacked by Tom Trebojevic. He'll bring it back to a 30. Now between them, but the defence is there. Michael Cheekam was there with Russell Packer to make the tackle. Tafua, Benji. 13 to go. 22-14, West Tigers at home. Kelly again. He's, oh, he's, lost it. he's gone back out. He's lost it, Kelly. It, he was looking at the pocket referee and he was trying to attract the attention of the pocket referee. Richard King to say he'd lost it. 
The young dummy half Finnow has gone back out. I'm sure we saw him on the bench with ice on his foot or a toe. Well, it's, it was a cameo appearance from Trent Hodkinson, wasn't it? He's, he's back on the bench after scoring that try. I thought the young bloke got hooked for the missed tackles. He came up with two or three in a row, but obviously he was, he was crooked. By the way, the footy show straight after the game. We'll have Chris Hyington joining the panel live, the footy show straight after the game. Brad Fittler's downstairs. Yeah, I think the ice was a bit of a reaction to being hooked. Just didn't want to be embarrassed, you know, <laughs> just come off. Got an injury. We went down and saw the staff, the medical staff, and they confirmed he was OK. Well, <laughs> up. Little. And Lena, who's back on. Little again. Benji. Brooks. Short ball away the skipper Lawrence looking for number two. Little will come back the open. Packer gave it back away. Tackle affected on Alloy A. Fifth tackle, Benji. Short ball back away. G Cam, he's popped it back. It's this time it's intercepted by Lane, I think. For Manly. Bit high there. Again. Up now. Was right on the spot. Well, under 12 oh. minutes to go here. Next try, absolutely crucial. One for the Tigers would wrap it up. One for the Eagles. They might just storm home as Kelly out of dummy half. Lovely last 10 minutes at 22 20 or thereabouts. I'm sure the West Tigers fans don't want that to happen. Well, they've gone nowhere in that set, man. A good defence there as Daly Cherry Evans drives it deep. Great kick, a beautiful coverage from Moses Embiid. That would have been a 30-20. It's a great kick, and oh, to fool into Embiid. He's kicked really strongly, Joey, tonight, hasn't he, Cherry Evans? He, he's driven through the ball. Yeah, low and hard. There's a couple in the first half, which were dynamite. That one, then he just... He got the ball away from his body. He kicked sort of around the ball and right through it. A lot of power in that kick. Well, they're just bunched and pointing now, the West Tigers. You see, so he here. gets the ball away from his body yeah. and hits it with that straight leg. And the ball is out and away. That way you're using not only your quad, but you're using your glutes. He's the most powerful muscle in your body. His leg's almost parallel with the ground. Here's the kick from Brooks. And the end of two as well. Brad Parker. Inside the final 10 we go. 22-14 West Tigers. Tafua. He's taken 30 out from his own line just off to the field. Finney's back out as we discussed. Voivich, oh, oh, Walker. Oh, set piece. They go the other way. In a bit of space for Noah Blake. He's got support to Voivich. He threw the oh. dummy. Went over the top of him by. They would have scored under the post. Tom Travoyev was standing there. Last tackle. They'll still score. As it comes back, he's down. Kelly scores, I'm sure. Hello. Wait there. Yeah, I think he has. I think he's, I think he's grounded, and I'm yeah, going to go try. Yes. Well, okay, Adam Fanua Blake is praying that he's got yes. this down because he could have passed mate. when this movement Watch started try. with a three-man overlap. And try is scored and on for line, please, mate. And then he had an unmarked Tom Draboyevic yeah. on his right-hand side, 30 metres down the track after they'd made the break. And he ignored him. Oh. Well, he, it's in his hand. Does he lose it before he hits the deck? He said try on the field. He did, yeah. It sort of squashes between his hand and his body, but the thing will be, did he have control of it? Well, well for me, that's a no Brian try. Kelly has he, lost control of the ball it, before yeah. the ground and does not regain possession. We have a decision. Yeah. They'll overrule them and they're right. He did lose control right on the line. Which was a nice lead-up work by Manley. A bit of trick shot around the ruck. Yeah. 
but it's no try. And they, they went on and bombed it, didn't they? Like, they set it up perfectly. Well, they went to the inside with Cherry Evans, and he came to the outside. Well, he feigned well, to Tom Trebojevic. It's a move where they use Tom Trebojevic in the middle. They split the markers and play mm. up through the middle. He identifies this. Look at this play by Cherry Evans. That's beautiful vision. And for Lil Blake, all he's got to do is find Turbo Tommy, and he scores. He must be filthy on Tom. Tom on oh, 10 bucks or something. And then Brian Kelly, he's some player, this young man. Unfortunately, he just spills his lollies close to the line. Well, I'll tell you what, Benji and Isan Masters have got to get a wrap here because, you know, they didn't give up and they've ended up forcing the ball out. There was a few boos there because what Ben, uh, what um, Cherry Evans did was kick the ball away because <laughs> they wanted it back for the restart. Now, Matt Eisenhuth is back out there. So that would have made it most interesting. A key goal from out wide to put the winner to Lawrence Brooks. McGuama's down the touchline, kicks back on the inside. Brooks is getting through. The ball's there, and they all had an air swing. Off to a restart, 20 meter line. Yeah, Seven nice, tackles. nice short side raid here. Chris Lawrence will dig right into the line, create the overlap, and the kick inside just goes too long. 20 meter restart. This is a big play in the game. This one here gets seven tackles. They get the end. We're going to attack and kick. You see here, short side raid. And they stand Moses Suli still. Get down the outside. Watch Tom Trubojevic here. Use his body on Brooks. Just to shepherd the ball. Smart play there from the fullback. Anyway, here they are. Martin to Powell. Two or three short of halfway. Finu one-handed pick up. This Blake's created a bit of damage for Noah Blake. Finu. Oh, beautiful ball! Kaczewski, he's going to throw it on. Oh, what a pick up oh, by Trebojevic. Yes. What a pick up and Cherry Evans scores out of the post. What about a pick up and a pass almost into one motion from Tom Trebojevic. Great ball. Great line running from Kaczewski. And gets a pass back inside here on the Harvey Norman replay. Runs into the hole, outside in, back on the inside. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Tom Trebojevic. Not only to have the presence of mind and ability to catch that ball there, oh, but then to pass to the man who helped start it. What a try. And how tall's Tom? Six foot four, six foot five. Usually the, the big tall men struggle to bend over to pick the ball up. Have a look at this for soft hands. That is just. That's one handed. That's a genius. And then throws a, a pass that's not backwards and not forwards. Well, Freddie coached him in origin. Two-point game. Did you see these sort of skills, Freddie, in training with the Blues? So, what about this? Six and a half to go, two-point game. Who's your money on now, still? I don't know. I'm still marvelling it. That's as good as I've ever seen. That's at speed. We just showed in slow motion and it looked difficult. Try doing it at speed. You know, Peter, it's been not the most brilliant game, but it's worth being here just to see that. And don't forget the young fella, Jack Gusevsky, who got the ball back on the inside before that absolute brilliance by Tom Kovojevic. I, I, I can't remember seeing anything as deft as that in a long, long time. And, and then to pass it. I mean, he took it inches off the and, ground. And to pass it backward. Yeah. Uh-oh. Martin to Powell. <laughs> he wasn't going to pass he, he was the flying wedge all on his own. Exactly. Fifth tackle, here's the kick, and Trebojevic is getting through after it, but going high, Moses Embai took it. Inside the final five and a half we go now. What's this? Oh! <laughs> the flying wedge. He wasn't losing that one. Now, 
Brad Park is calling for the cavalry over there on that right wing. There's the number 15. So Arso Sue comes back out for the West Tigers. So it's a two-point game with exactly five to go. Where's Ivan? Is he still on the sideline, Ivan? Is he... How's he handling this comeback? I think I can see Ivan there. There he is. Cheeks puffing out, looking up at the scoreboard. Well, you'd think the way three tries, bang, 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 they win the game, but no. This tackle kick, Brooks. Park has gone back. Oh, he took it nicely in the end. He was going backwards, looking at the lights. And then oh, Little made a good tackle, Jacob Little. Tom Trebojevic. If that doesn't feature in a highlights reel, I'm live by the sports, I'm a bad judge, that try. Four minutes, 16 to go. 22-20, Tigers. See Joel Thompson out there, another strong charge. The best thing about Tom Kovojevic, right? the best is yet to come. Oh, yeah. Finu, Jake. Jerry Evans, oh, big tackle, Lawrence. Big tackle. You talk about Tom, he played out of position. Here he goes again. Smashes that ball. Over. That was oh. a fine touch. Oh. Wow. He's, he's manufactured that as well, that kick. He didn't have it the way that you, you like to be kicking the football. And he played out of position in origin, played on the wing. Mm. And for me, he was the player of the series. A lot of debate about Billy Slater getting the player of the series. But for me, this young man was the player of the series. He's got a level of skill few possess, that's for sure. Not only that, Time's in origin, off. some of his tough running. Mm. And a lot of the hard yards coming out of trouble for New South Wales. His play, too, has just put his body on the line for his team. Well, boy, we've got a scrum being set. Freddie, what was he like to coach at origin? Yeah, that was one of the real highlights, watching all our outside backs, really, at training. And just see him in and around our games, just how competitive they are and some of the things they can come up with. But... Yeah, touching on what Joey said, you know, there's a bit of, a little bit of criticism about picking him on the wing, and you know, Origin's all about bringing the ball off your own line. He was outstanding. He didn't shirk one bit of work, and then come up in Melbourne, come up with that beautiful catch to score the try as well. So, yeah, without a doubt, he was one of the best, if not the best. Here's the ball, little back away to Sue. So, inside the final three, West Tigers on the surge. Little goes from acting half over halfway. Sean Lane got to him. Fifth tackle. Brooks will run to the line, then kick it downfield towards touch. Oh, it's going to go touch in goal. Oh, okay, Seven tackle, tackle, 20 metre restart. Metre restart. Onside players. Millimetres in it. Lane, That's the Lane. worst possible result from that kick. Waiting. Clearly trying right, to find touch just to Zero. mind it down. But That's a bad result. So... Tafua. Kelly. Oh, he's lost that. He's oh. lost that, Brian Kelly. He just tried to get up too quickly, I think. So that should allow the West Tigers to control the ball at the right end of the field with 1.55 to go and time off. Where's Freddie? Can you go upstairs and give Baz a cuddle? Seven. Anyone oh. who needs a cuddle, it's the family coach. Brian oh, Kelly. That's a killer. That's a killer. And he's played well too, Kelly. And... Oh, God. Mm. Right that's out. a headache. That's that that's sinus that's a... headache right in the middle of the eyebrows. Didn't you say that Jew was down there earlier? Really? Can we find the excuse for the young fella? The Jew kicked in about half time. Mm. Anyway, here they are. North Aluma with it. Oh, there's a one on one strip. The ball's come out the back. Back to zero. Zero tackle. Zero tackle. Lawrence, 1.38 to go, 22-20 West Tigers. Eisenhuth is with it. Little, Benji, will go back through centre field. They all moved up on the outside. We'll I'll get one more shot, Manly, if the Tigers don't force a restart. Little, Sue. Still going, about 11 out. 
So Aso Su put down fifth tackle. Little one had to pick up goes. It'll be a changeover, just two out from the line. So they've got about 98 metres to get the ball up the other end in 55 seconds. They need a touch of brilliance. Oh, a half break by Brad Parker. Good run, gets the sets rolling. Trevojevic on the bounce to George Tafua. 39 seconds to go, 71 metres to go. He's down the touch line and takes the tackle, gets up and goes again. Oh, that's a penalty. Kelly. That's going to be a penalty. Oh. They tried to throw him into touch and you called it, Peter, and that's what Matt Checken said. Just take the tap. What are you doing? You're seeing if they can kick the goal, can they? It's a bit far out. 50 metres. You're going to have a shot? He's going to have a shot. He's having a shot. Shorty. Shorty. Well, how far is this, Joe? I know it's up near the 50, but... Well, it's 60 metres from the sideline. Well, there's a siren, so the equation's fairly simple. I'll be interested to see how he places the ball down. If he places it down where he's hitting the end of the ball, like as everyone else does, where he leans the ball forward, I doubt he'll get the length. I think he'll have to stand this ball up. Freddie? Yep. Fair enough. He agrees. He agrees. <laughs> He's I'm a gonna... man of few words, Freddie. I, I, I just don't see him get the Did distance. Did you throw it down to me then? Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I'm just trying to get a response off Moses M. Boy, he said no chance. Well, he placed this ball down here like this. I doubt he'll get the distance. He, he can't get the distance. He's not a Kyle Felt. All right. 60 metres out by the time you take the angle into account, according to Andrew. Otherwise, the West Tigers win barring an accident, hitting the upright or some other problem. He moves into it now. It's going to be just short of the mark. Oh, just under them. They're going to kick it over the dead ball line through Masters and the West Tigers win to keep their slim semi-final hopes alive. Well, Andrew picked it. He said he wouldn't have the distance and he did not. So the West Tigers win, but a nervous performance in the end. 22 points to 20 was a full-time score. West Tigers over a determined, manly side. So the congratulations are exchanged in centre field. 22 points to 20, West Tigers beat Manly.